Hey guys, Nick here at High Octane Classics. Let's take a look at this beautiful new arrival, this 1970 Challenger SE. This car was customized by Mr. Norms early upon its life. It is finished in this beautiful metallic yellow with lots of pearl. When you take a look at this car in the sunlight, it is just absolutely unbelievably stunning. You take a look along the side of this car, um, it is show quality throughout. There's not a ripple, there's not a ding, there's not a scratch on the side of this car. It is rolling on staggered 18 inch in the front and 20 inch in the rear American racing wheels with um, four piston disc brakes all the way around. It does have an upgraded 440 in it. Let's take a look at that. All right, that's some eye candy for you. It is a built 440 about 525 horsepower. It does have a full hydro boost system for the disc brakes and the power steering. It's running MSD ignition. All right. It does have a beautiful gator style top on the front. It is a factory SE car. It does have the correct center console um, above the top. We'll take a look at the inside. It has dual racing seats with a roll cage. Behind that 440 is a 727 automatic transmission. It does have full custom audio throughout. That sounds fantastic. The rear end is an eight and three quarter with a four link setup and a pan hard bar. This car runs and drives excellent. Does have a white go wing with the RT stripe on the back. I'm a big fan of color matched bumpers um, on all E body Mopars. I think it really cleans up the lines of the car. It looks great. Runs through three inch exhaust with Flowmaster mufflers. That sounds fantastic. We do have our quick release gas cap right there that works as it should again just as the driver side passenger side just as nice clean and flat and wet sand and buffed and beautiful does have its pentastar on the passenger side fender just like it should now if you have any more questions about this car you can call our sales line and we will be more than happy to answer them for you thanks so much